So now that we've gone over the course goals, let's ask a simple question. Why Bitcoin? Why care? Why even learn about these technologies? Well, in order to answer that question, we need to look at the problem that Bitcoin was looking to solve and why the uniqueness of Bitcoin was able to solve it. In order to answer those questions or explore those topics, I'm going to ask yet another question. Do you really have control over your own finances? For the most part, this is yes. Most people have control over how they spend their money, where they spend their money, when they spend it, um, in what form, with whom they interact with. However, this is not completely true. For example, in 2018, when the cryptocurrency market was pretty much booming, um, banks and credit card processors started censoring transactions, not letting them go through uh, simply because they weren't too keen on cryptocurrency. Additionally, another great example of the lack of financial autonomy that some industries have is the marijuana industry in the United States. Now, on the state level, uh, several states have legislated that marijuana is legal in either medical or recreational purposes. Federally, this is not the case. So what that does, the practical result is that uh, the vendors, the stores that sell marijuana, essentially have no access to any federally, federally regulated banking services, basically making them out of luck, uh, having way too much cash on hand without any good cash option, or option beyond cash. So in order to further explore why Bitcoin and answer that question, we need to look at the creator of Bitcoin, an individual or group of individuals that use the pseudonym Satoshi Nakamoto. Now it's really important to know that nobody knows who Satoshi is. It's one of the great mysteries of the internet. Um, one, a few things we do know about Satoshi though, uh, he did leave a couple, he did leave actually several posts on a forum that really outlines his motivation for the creation of Bitcoin. So while we don't know who Satoshi is, we do know or can infer his motivations for creating the Bitcoin network. So why did Satoshi feel compelled to create Bitcoin? And it's very interesting. Now, on a blockchain, in the very first part of a network, um, on the Bitcoin blockchain, the first message encoded into the network is the same as the headline right here. The exact headline, Chancellor on Brink of Second Bailout for Banks. It's from the London Times in 2008, right before Bitcoin was created. Now, I don't think it's that big of a stretch to say that Bitcoin was a response to these bailouts. The lack of responsibility that these bailouts kind of absolved the people that got us into a really bad situation. Satoshi was fundamentally against this. So you know what Satoshi did? Satoshi created the Bitcoin network, which is bailout proof. 